like my mom teases me about this perfume all the goddamn time because i've got over 70 to talk about today so i'll spare you the story time i'll tell you the story time in 2022 this is never say never but they never say never say always fragrances are piling up behind me you will be noticed that's all i'll say it's a bit too strong for me a bit too grown for me i don't know if she'll make it to 2022 a lot of people think this is my favorite fragrance but now i'm stuck with it label but i don't mind because we're going 70 we're going over 70. the designer fragrance at a niche price that's the annoying thing now this is one that i may be decluttering um to my mom or somebody <laughs> I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas Oh hi! Welcome to my channel! It's Fragmas! <laughs> I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas! Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas! I don't know how to I don't know how I'm going to start this video okay just start it anyhow um when I started my YouTube channel a couple of months back I never anticipated that I would own the number of fragrances that I own now but one thing I made sure that I did was that I kept a journal or a list or notes on my phone and I wrote down every fragrance that I bought this year. Now, when I started off my YouTube, I'll say that my collection was around 15. I had around 15 fragrances. And now I have well over 70 fragrances. I know. I know that's a lot of fragrance purchases for 2021. And I've had loads of you in the comment section say, do a fragrance collection video. And I thought, how do I do it? Do I show my face whilst i'm doing it or do i do it the way some people do it where they just show only the fragrances if you're watching this video i presume that it's the 31st of december and i want to take this opportunity to wish all my people my people a happy new year guys thank you for sticking with me through 2021 and i'm hoping and wishing that 2022 will be a better year for each and every one of us i thought what better video idea to bring us into the new year than my fragrance collection it'll be very quick me showing you the fragrance and just moving on so without further ado let's get right into the video starting off very quickly this video is not in any particular order i'm just going to be reaching for the ones that are closed so this is dolce and gabbana love is love this was a fragrance that i purchased in the summertime absolutely love it it's a fresh fragrance very easy to wear it's a fragrance that i like to wear in hot weather because it just makes me feel fresh oh Shall we go for, maybe I'll keep the fragrances behind here when I talk about them. But let's talk about this ones that I've got here actually that tend to be behind my videos. This is Luby Rouge from the house of Christian Louboutin. I absolutely love the packaging of this fragrance. As soon as I saw the packaging, I was like, I have to have this fragrance. So yeah, it's designer, but it's a designer fragrance at a niche price. That's the annoying thing, but lovely fragrance. Smells like, smells a bit cosmetic-y, but I love it. What is that? Is there any word like cosmetic-y? But yeah, anyways, you get the message. This is Luby Crown. Luby Crown is more like an oody, sophisticated, oud bouquet sort of fragrance. Again, from the house of Christian Louboutin. I love the bottle. Very sophisticated. This was one of the first, first fragrances I purchased when I started my fragrance um, Instagram page, actually. So, yeah. Luby Crown. Okay. And this is the popular one. Baccarat Rouge 540. And I purchased this fragrance last year. So, it wasn't one of my purchases this year. Um, love this fragrance very sophisticated very popular you know um, must have probably will never declutter back at rich 540 okay so we've done we've done the ones in the background now I'll move on to the ones on the table next to me so the next one I'll be talking about is crazy in love this was one of the new releases from the house of Montal absolutely love this fragrance this is a rose spicy sort of fragrance um i wouldn't say i used it a lot this year but yeah i do like it intense cafe is the next one i'll be talking about this is my baby i really like this fragrance it's probably going to be an empties for me in 2022 and i'll probably have to restock on it i need to be quick i shouldn't say much because we're going 70 we're going over 70. the next one is kayali 
vanilla 28 loads of people talked about this fragrance and i was just like i need to go out and i get it and i can see why people love it see the dent on this fragrance absolutely love it very nice fragrance to sort of layer all your fragrances with i really do like that one um we've got another one from kiali this is invite only amber 23 one of their new releases from this year um more like an amber you know sort of fragrance um yeah i do like it but i use this one more during the winter autumn months okay moving on swiftly we've got terra de joie from the house of Giorgio armani just waiting for that camera to come back to me so this is terra de joie by the house of Giorgio armani really nice fragrance almondi like if elisa girl of now had a baby sister that this will be her moving on we've got oud bouquet guys i don't know if i'm making you anxious with how quickly i'm going but i don't want this video to be so long so this is oud bouquet from the house of lancome this is classy this is one that i absolutely recommend for every fragrance lover to have in their collection this is beast mode this is a fragrance that will leave siage people will be able to smell on you i talk about this a whole lot on my channel so i'm going to move on now oud bouquet um the next one i've got here this was in my collection before i started my fragrance channel this is michael kors um rose radiant gold i got this as a birthday gift one of the years couple of years back um nice fragrance yeah it kind of what i like about this fragrance is that it reminds me of the michael kors shop because a little trick for you the michael kors shop they actually smell spray their perfumes in the air so whenever you go into the michael kors shop most times it's smelling like the perfume so yeah that's what i like about this it kind of reminds me makes me feel like i'm in the michael kors shop moving on we've got tuberosa from the house of nishani now this is one that i may be decluttering um to my mom or somebody who would love it i haven't used it a lot i'll be very honest with you it's a bit too strong for me a bit too grown for me so i don't know if she'll make it to 2022 when i'm back into when let's see let's get to 2022 and let's see if sis is gonna make it but yeah tuberosa the next one we've got here is Annie. I wouldn't lie to you. This one I got as a result of FOMO. Loads of people talked about this fragrance. But I can see why loads of people love this fragrance. It is... <laughs> oh my god. Like, this smells very expensive. Like, if you want to smell expensive, this is one to definitely have. Yeah. Nishane Annie. Tobacco, vanilla sort of spicy fragrance. Okay. And still from the house of Nishane, we've got 100 Silent Ways. A lot of people think this is my favorite fragrance because... It is my Instagram profile picture. Not necessarily, but it was one of my first purchases when I really got into fragrances. Probably that's why. Really do like a white floral sort of fragrance. 100 silent waves from the house of Nishani. That's it. Just waiting for camera to focus on her. She deserves... No, she. It. It deserves its accolades. The next one is from the house of Carolina Herrera. Such a coincidence that I picked up 100 silent waves at Carolina Herrera they both have a coffee note not necessarily the strongest coffee note but again this is a nice fragrance it's a designer fragrance nothing overly spectacular going on here but yeah nice fragrance i really do like the bottle the stiletto very popular fragrance from the house of carolina herrera herrera good girl this is one that came into my collection even before i started youtube chloe has always been in my collection this is a staple lychee sort of rhubarb tart sort of fragrance I think it's got some peony or rose in it as well really nice i really do like this my only challenge with this fragrance is the bottle i've talked about that so i'll move on chloe next we've got um next we've got adults from the house of killian now this fragrance i really did want princess so i wanted something from this killian line you know i couldn't find princess but i really wanted something in this bottle and i went ahead and bought adults now you know when you get your second best but not the best not what you were really looking for you know that feel i think that's what this fragrance has suffered from a bit in my hand because it wasn't exactly what i wanted so it's like oh your second place you're not exactly what i wanted but yeah anyways it's a fig based fragrance the reason i wouldn't declutter is because at the moment i do not have any other fig fragrances in my collection i have run out of um womanity by the house of Terry mogler but yeah adults 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 it says let's settle this argument like adults in the bedroom naked very spicy you know fragrance name next we've got ellie sap girl of now um almondy nutty sort of fragrance very um what's the word um synthetic is the word smells a bit synthetic you know but really nice fragrance nothing against it um ellie sap girl of now now this is my one i really do love and this is killian angel share spectacular fragrance i know one of my subscribers recently commented that she got 
a particular vibe from this fragrance but i don't get that vibe i really do like it boozy lovely cozy sort of fragrance killian angel share so moving on we've got scandal by the house of um john paul gaultier really nice fragrance very nice projection the projection on this is really loud um but yeah scandal moving on we've got versace crystal no what no this is versace yellow diamonds actually really nice fragrance i had this before i started youtube uh maybe i've got some things that i prefer so this has sort of moved to the back but yeah versace yellow diamonds nice fragrance next we've got versace crystal noir this is one this one is a signature scent for me in fact i had a friend message me the other day she was like priscilla i think i want to smell like you with your versace crystal noir so can you get one a bottle for me and i was like yes of course darling so yeah versace crystal noir lovely fragrance really nice signature worthy scent moving on this is one of the first fragrances i ever reviewed on my channel this is dolce amalfi from the house of zerjov it is just the 100 ml bottles that have got the tassels on, on on them spicy nice fragrance to be honest i thought i would have decluttered this fragrance by now but somehow it's still here it's still going so you know some things do surprise you sometimes and i think that's one that has surprised me that it's still in my collection next we've got magnolia rosé from the house of lancome this is a really nice floral magnolia fragrance really do like it amazing sillage you know amazing projection i get loads of compliments with this one magnolia rosé oops moving on we've got decadence from the house of mark jacobs i really do like this fragrance um this is a spicy fragrance it's got some saffron in it really nice fragrance i like the packaging as well with the bag decadence next we've got um by the fireplace from the house of mason magella when i tell you that if you want a fragrance that smells like chestnut yeah especially for the winter autumn season this is one i definitely recommend really nice fragrance really unique smelling long lasting by fireplace from the house of mason margella next we've got fendi la carusa this is a fragrance i was also in my collection even before i started youtube yeah fendi la carusa i think i got this as a gift from my mom at some point but yeah next we've got roja alham this is a fragrance that i wanted for a very long time well i wanted something from the roja line and this was the most affordable that i could get my hands on so i went for it this is alham from the house of roja we've got from the house of hugo boss well is hugo boss a house but from hugo boss we've got uh, the scent private accord this is a chocolatey gourmand sort of fragrance really do like it really enjoyed this fragrance this year not the strongest not the most long lasting but while it lasts it is a very lovely scent ariana grande cloud this is a cheapy you know cheap cheerful nice a good dupe for baccarat rouge 540 i really enjoyed this used to wear it to bed sometimes um, throughout the year ariana grande cloud next i've got got day to life from the house of oud really nice cinnamony spicy sort of warm fragrance um bottles are so unique i really wanted one of these egg looking bottles and i went for this one because it was the one that appealed the most to me you know appealed the most to my fragrance style moving to the house of amouage we've got sunshine this was one of the early niche fragrances i reviewed here on my channel so yeah this will always have a place in my heart um tobacco you know sort of fragrance um yeah nice easy fragrance sunshine i've got sunshine on a cloudy day okay back to business back to business um next we've got love to burrows from the house of Amouage. I know I talked your ears off about this one this year that if you wanted any tuberose fragrance and you're not big on tuberose love tuberose Is a good place to start. So I know I know I talked about this a lot on the channel, but yeah love tuberose on the house of Amouage Moving on to Penhaligons. I got Cairo. I got Cairo now when I got Cairo you guys knew you guys knew so I'm not going to talk too much about this one But yeah lovely fab fragrance from the house of Penhaligons a British house what more do i say i think all i need to say has been said next is this one that has got a deadly name and it's hypnotic poison from the house of dior really nice coconutty vintage smelling fragrance it was how it was um from abby with love that actually influenced me to make this purchase and no regrets 
next we've got la vie belle classic in my collection i had this before i even started my youtube but i had the original and i decided to go for the flanca which is bouquet d'eau printemps lovely fragrance i haven't worn it a lot because this year i have discovered loads of fragrances so somehow i'm not reaching i haven't reached for my classics and la vie belle is one of my classics so yeah there you go la vie belle moving on we've got santa royale from the house of Guerlain. um <laughs> i have a whole story time on this perfume how you know they had to close the door leave the door open rather because the siage on this perfume was just too much for people in my office so yeah if you get this one just mind where you're wearing it because you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> you will be noticed that's all i'll say next is one of my signature scents and this is ever pure from the house of zerjov like my mom teases me about this perfume all the goddamn time you know i talked about this a lot on my channel to the point my mom used to call it the you know she's going to pick up the perfume in the blue bottle so yeah that is zerjov ever pure fruity bowl fruit bowl ever pure long lasting Next, we've got Gentle Fluidity Gold from the house of Mason Francis Cougin. I wanted something else from Mason Francis Cougin apart from, um, you know, Baccarat Rich 540. And I decided to go for Gentle Fluidity Gold. It's a nice fragrance, not the most long lasting, but it's a sophisticated fragrance. Well blended Gentle Fluidity Gold. Next, we've got YSL Lib. I bought this in the, you know, in a limited edition bottle. As soon as I saw the bottle, I knew I wanted to have this bottle. Um, yeah, loads of people have this one. I do like it. It's a lavender, calming sort of fragrance. Smells a bit powdery. Smells a bit grown because it smells powdery and like a like a sophisticated, luxurious soap. Lib. Next, I have got Italica. I always wanted this fragrance, but I didn't want to splurge on the big bottle. So as soon as they released the 30 ml, I was straight in there, made my purchase, no regrets. This is a sticky toffee pudding gourmand sort of fragrance. It is one that I wear for personal enjoyment. I don't wear it out because I don't want to smell eggs. Like it really does smell like toffee, you know, um, which I would rather just smell to myself, not smell like that outside if you get my point. But yeah, Italica. Then we've also got Light Blue Intense from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. Uh, I know I talked about Love is Love, um, but yeah, really nice fragrance. I do really enjoy wearing this fragrance. Light Blue from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. I don't have much to say. I mean, I have a whole video dedicated on this perfume and its flanker. So if you want to see that, go. I'll probably link it in the description box so you can go watch it. So guys, um, I finished off with the first tray. I'm just going to swap, get the second tray, and let's get to the second half of this video. But hold on a second. Before we continue with the fragrances, are you subscribed to the channel? Why have you not subscribed? No, please tell me why you've not subscribed. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Become part of my people, my people, before we enter 2022. Thank you very much. My last fragrance purchase of this year has been La Belle from the house of Jean Paul Gaultier. I really do like this fragrance. I was supposed to purchase La Belle Le Parfum, but somehow I mistakenly clicked purchase on La Belle and I didn't even check when it arrived and I just opened the box and so now I'm stuck with it. La Belle, but I don't mind. I do like it. I did sample this one, uh, but yeah, lovely fragrance. Next, I have got Narciso Rodriguez for her musky fragrance. If you want musk, Narciso Rodriguez is your plug. They're the ones who do musk really well. So yeah, her, she, him, her actually from the house of Narciso Rodriguez. Oh my God, my fragrances are piling up behind me. Piling up behind me. My fragrances are piling up behind me. Piling up behind me. Okay, Priscilla, get serious. Um, the next one is um, Silver Mountain Water by the House of Creed. This, I had it before I started my YouTube. This is one of my signature scents. I wore this from my undergrad days. You know, beautiful, sophisticated niche fragrance. I remember when I first got this fragrance, you know. <laughs> I'll spare you the story time. I'll tell you the story time in 2022. Silver Mountain Water. But first of all, subscribe. Subscribe if you want to hear the story. Comment down in the comment section and I'll, I'll, I'll do the story time for you. Okay, next we've got Jador from the House of Dior. I also own this before I started YouTube. This is a classic in my collection. One of my signature fragrances. Floral, girly, light fragrance. 
Jador from the house of Christian Dior. Next, we've got Jasmine Wiss from the house of Rasisi or Rasasi. Really nice fragrance, a cheaper version of, ja of um, Eba Pura. Really do like this fragrance. It is mm, fruity, sweet, you know, fruit burst, you know, like Yukawan Jasmine Wisp. Next, when I wanted to smell like Rihanna, I went for Love. I don't know if it's her fragrance, but I went for Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. This is like a marshmallow bubble gummy sort of fragrance i think it's got some tuberose in it really nice fragrance i didn't wear it a lot but yeah i definitely wanted to have it and i'm glad i have it in my collection you know they're just i don't know if anyone else gets this feel you know there are some fragrances you just want to own you know you just want to own them you can't really justify why but you just want to own them yeah that was love don't be shy extreme for me trusadi donna Marcelina Theresa talked me into this one on her channel. Yeah, and I really do like it. Summer comes again. I will definitely be wearing this. This is um, It's got lemon citrusy notes light fragrance just easy to wear. You know, you just spritz it on very easy to wear easy on the nose Donna by Trisardi Okay, moving on to my signature scent is Giorgio Armani C. This is a fragrance that will always, always be in my collection. You know, always. You know, they say never say never, but they never say never say always. This will always be in my collection. Signature scent for me, Giorgio Armani C. Yeah, woody fragrance this one is. Okay, um, next we've got initial side effect. This fragrance makes me emotional. Should I smell it and almost get emotional? <laughs> okay, I've talked about this one before. So yeah, initial side effect. There you go. Oh, well, moving on. The next fragrance is Slim Patrice from the house of Dolce and Gabbana. This is a watermelon, fruity, you know, fresh fragrance. Again, again, another one for the summer season. We've got Dolce and Gabbana, the only one. I've reviewed this fragrance. I compared it to the only one too, which is somewhere upstairs actually. Oh my goodness, I forgot to bring down my like three fragrances okay but yeah dolce and gabbana the only one which i compared to the only one too um lovely fragrance caramel based fragrance next we've got vanilla diorama from the house of dior this is a fragrance i got for my birthday vanilla spicy fragrance really like it really enjoy it actually yeah spicy vanilla fragrance vanilla diorama moving on we've got Udo Soleil Blanc from the house of Tom Ford. This is a summery, coconutty, tan, smells like a suntan um, lotion. Um, yeah, Udo Soleil Blanc from the house of Tom Ford. The only Tom Ford fragrance I own. I used to own Lush, I used to own Lush Cherry actually, but I decluttered it because it wasn't just performing well enough for that price tag. So that was a fragrance that I decluttered as soon as it came in. I was like, nah, this is not good. It's not, it wasn't strong enough. Let me not say it's not good. It wasn't strong enough for me, so I decluttered it. So next we've got Mont Blanc Signature. This was one that was very much hyped on Instagram and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. And it smells like a creamsicle, really nice, citrusy, easy on the nose sort of fragrance. Summer fragrance. Moving on, an empty bottle that I'll have to get rid of soon. Dolce, I'm still holding on to that last drop from the house of Dolce and Gabbana. I really do like this. Own this before YouTube, so yeah. I guess part of the reason why it's an empty bottle okay i don't need to be that close to you guys you guys don't want to be like see my soul do you i don't think so i think not okay why is my chain not staying see okay if this chain doesn't want to stay then i, I don't have the time okay because i need to move on okay Ooh. I've got everyone's favorite in my hand delina delina by the house of perfumes the mali this is a lovely fragrance loads of people love this fragrance she's a favorite she no it's a favorite loads of people love this one yeah lychee i think rhubarb tart rose sophisticated sort of fragrance delina from the house of perfumes the mali oh careful priscilla that was a bit hard. I was a bit hard on Delina there. Okay, next we've got Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21. One of the longest names for a fragrance in my collection. Um, it's just really long. Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21. Uh, but yeah, anyways, this is from the house of Kayali. This came out in the summer. This is coconutty. Yeah, looking forward to wearing this in the summer. So this has got Vanilla Bonbon in it. And yeah, really nice fragrance. Ooh got this one from christmas day guys do you remember the fragrance i unboxed on christmas day atrape reve ginger rose not rose peony 
I'm sure of the peony, I'm sure of the ginger. But floral, spicy, fresh. <sighs> yeah, I'm just pleased. I actually, I'm gonna wear this. No, where am I going to? I'm not going anywhere. I'm just filming videos. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm going somewhere when I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, guys. Okay, moving on to one of my favorite um, releases from Kayali. Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25, probably my favorite release of 2020. No, probably, probably. Okay, well, uh, at, the, as at the time I'm filming this video, yeah, Eden is not out yet. Well, she's out, but she's not being released. Like, she's not in stores. So, I'll come back and tell you next year between Eden and Sweet Diamond which one I prefer. But for now, this is winning Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25 until I smell Eden. Okay, moving on, we've got Idol from the House of Lancome, Compliment Getter. Compliment Getter, signature scent worthy, Idol. Then we've got Salvatore Ferragamo, guys, Amo. Lovely, boozy, Campari smelling fragrance. Smells like champagne, sort of. Smells like fizzy, smells like fizzy alcohol. Moving on, we've got Dolce from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. This is Dolce Garden. This has got coconut in it. Um, really nice fragrance. I'll just drop that back there because I, I think I'm running out of space behind me. Okay, next we've got Spicy Twilly de Hermes. This has got ginger in it. This is a spicy, spicy, spicy fragrance. Like when you spray this, the first thing that hits you is the spice. But it's sophisticated. You want something from Hermes, you, Hermes, you don't have that Birkin money, you go for Twilly de Hermes, okay? Next, we've got Kenzo Toilette. This is a nice, easy fragrance, cheapy as well, very affordable. Next, we've got Daisy Love from the house of Marc Jacobs. This is a really lovely fragrance. has got some cloudberry notes in it. Not that I know what cloudberry is, but I'm just going to say it's got cloudberry because I know it's got cloudberry in it because I read that off Rangratica confession next i've got alien from the house of thera mugler this is a fragrance i'm always like topping up on because it's a recyclable bottle which is what i like about it then we've got flora botanica balenciaga which i bought as a result of fomo because people said that it was going to be discontinued and i was like oh i better get in there get a bottle before it gets discontinued but i don't know if it's even discontinued then we've got Lancome a la folie this is a really nice fragrance um nice vanilla fragrance okay i don't know how many i've done there but i still have um um fragrances that i am taking home with me to give as gifts so i've got upstairs i, I can't be bothered to go upstairs and bring it all down for you guys now but i've got moschino teddy bear uh, did i say teddy bear moschino toy 2 which i'll be giving to my baby sister I've also got Dolce & Gabbana, the only one too, which I will be giving to another of my sisters. Um, and what other fragrance have I got up there? I think it's just those two. And I've got one from Favio Safari, which was sent to me as well. So yeah, I don't know how many fragrances. I don't know if you guys have been counting, but I'm sure they're over 70. I don't know. But yeah, there you go. I just thought I'll share my entire fragrance collection with you guys. In the new year, I'm hoping to also share my fragrance wish list. I... To be honest, I don't have anything necessarily on my wish list at the moment. I am thankful and grateful for where my collection is. Um, go ahead and let me know, you know, what your collection is like. Do you have hun over 100 bottles? Do you have under 100 bottles? What is too many? You know, how many, how many is too many? I'll be interested to hear your thoughts. How many is too many fragrances? I wish you a happy, happy, happy new year. I hope that this new year brings us so much joy and so much peace. And if 2021 has been a rough year for you, just hang in there. I am sending you so much positivity and I'm hoping that 2022 is much, much better for you than 2021 was. I hope to see you on the other side. And when I say that, I mean I hope to see you in 2022. Thank you for all your support. And until I see you again in my next video, because I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Stay beautiful, stay blessed. Hi and bye. Time to switch off. Bye, guys. Happy New Year. It's Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.